Hello, this is Sarah or Waterlily716 and today I'm going to do a review of the TGI um, bedhead candy fixation slime <coughs> and I apologize in advance for my voice and my cough. Um, I have a bit of a cold. Um, anyways, this is a line by TGI bedhead um, and most of the products are curly gold approved. Um, so I received from Naturally Curly to review, I received the Mega Whip Whipped Marshmallow Hair Texturizer and I love the packaging for these products, it's really fun. Um, the Sugar Dust Invisible Micro Texture Root Powder, which looks like this. The Totally Baked Volumizing and Prepping Hair Meringue, looks like this. Um, the Sugar Shock Hair Bonifying Sugar Spray. Looks like this, and also the um, glaze haze. Um, this is the only product that I did not try out because it has a lot of codes. Um, it's like a hair serum, um, so yeah, I didn't try this out. But I tried all the rest of these um, at least once. So starting out, um, I really like the packaging for all these products. It's really cute and the idea in general, and they all smell really good. Um, the Mega Whip, which is like a hair texturizer, it's supposed to be like a light, flexible hold. It smells really good and sweet. They all smell really sweet. Um, I tried this product out as kind of like a second day curls thing to see if I could get like a little extra hold and stuff. And I don't know, I didn't like when I first put on my hair, I thought I saw like a little bit of texture looking like a bit more defined, but then after like a little while, um, it just kind of went away so like it will calm down some of the fuzziness and this is second day hair for me but I don't feel like this will stay so um well it smells really good and like it feels nice on my hair I I'm not like te hugely sold on it so I probably wouldn't repurchase the makeup whip um similarly for the sugar shock spray um, this is supposed to be just a bodifying spray. It's supposed to give you hold as well, but I didn't feel like it gave my hair any hold when I tried it on dry hair. Um, it just like comes in this little pump bottle and like, it smells really nice and like sweet and like sugary, um, but like it doesn't have a super great hold like as you can see it's helping like right now but I didn't think that when I tried this out it, it really didn't compare to my favorite hairspray which is the Arby Organics new style one um it just doesn't have a lot of hold it smells nice um so I probably wouldn't repurchase that either um two products from this line that I probably maybe would repurchase I don't know um the sugar dust I tried this out on like some third day hair when my roots are getting oily and it works well it just has like a little twist cap little holes up here and you twist it and then the powder comes out and you can like put it on your roots um this also smells good but like I don't know how much more effective this is than like um just like baking powder or whatever else like kind of powder you can put on your head um but yeah, it's nice. The other thing I think is kind of weird is you only get 0.35 ounces, which is, like, there's definitely more than, like, this bottle looks like it should have more than 0.35 ounces in it. Or one gram, like, one gram, I know, like, how much a gram of powder is. It's just weird. So I feel like you kind of get gypped, um, product-wise. But I do like this product, um. I'm just not sure if I would repurchase because I think I could probably buy baby powder and do the same thing. And I also don't get greasy hair very much. Um, but if you have greasy hair, this is a good product. It does help kind of when, like, you don't really have time to wash your hair, but um, it's kind of greasy. Now, the one thing that I might repurchase from this, just because I love the way it smells, um, is the Totally Baked Volumizing and Prepping Hair Meringue. Um, I tried this... Um, underneath something and it worked pretty well. I also tried it on its own, but it was not enough hold for my hair really. 
um, just styling it from like a wash and go. Um, my hair was super soft though, but it did have like some frizz and flyaways. So I might keep this around and experiment with it like under gels and things. But to me, it just seems like a very light mousse. But it smells amazing. It smells like lemon bars or dessert or something. Um, but yeah, that's the Tulipic mousse. And then I didn't try the glaze haze. Um, it's just like a ceramide product. Can you see? It's just like a clear ceramy product. It smells sweet like the other products. I'll probably give it away to a friend. But yeah, overall, um, these products are nice and they have great packaging and they smell really good. Um, I don't think they're really designed for curly hair, which may be the reason why I didn't really particularly like a lot of them. Um, I think they might work really well for someone with wavy hair who doesn't need a lot of hold in their products. Um, they might really be a really good option for them, but for someone with me that like likes a lot of hold and definition in their hair products, they didn't really do it for me so much. And um, I may play around more with maybe trying the makeup whip in wet hair. I don't know, it's a texturizer, so it's supposed to be in dry hair. And the Totally Baked, like, I will probably keep these two around in my collection. Um, I'm not sure if I would repurchase any of these because I just wasn't, like, amazingly wowed by how they worked in my hair. Um, but they're, like, good products. Um, I'll probably also keep the Sugar Dust around just in case. Um, but the Sugar Shock Spray and the Glaze Haze, I'll probably try to give away to someone. Um, because, no, no, they're just, like, kind of, so, like, while I like this line, they're just not for me. Yeah. Um, so that's what I think about the Bedhead Candy Fixations line, and um, I hope you like this review. Um, one thing I really do like from TGI is the Moisture Maniac Conditioner. I love that conditioner, and I would like to try out some of their other products, but um, a lot of them do have cones in them, so you just have to be careful. But all these, except for the Glaze Haze, Except for this one, they're all like, um, like water soluble ingredients and stuff. So yeah, this line was interesting, but not for me. Thanks for watching and tuning in. Um, and yeah, bye!